Welcome to the first module of our master course in delay analysis. Before we start using MS project for delay analysis, we need to make a few changes to the options. So please go to options, schedule, and in this section, we have to make a few changes, particularly with respect to some logical calculations, which will ensure that our delay analysis is credible and accurate. But the very first thing you need to do is to change that to all new projects. So all the changes we make will carry on to new projects. So change this option from manually scheduled to auto scheduled. And make sure that this option is ticked off. I've, I think I've already unticked it earlier. If you're using MS Project for the first time, it's probably ticked, so please untick it. Next, go to the Advanced section. Look at the calculation options for this project. Again, choose All New Projects and tick these two options. And click OK. Now, when you create a new project, new tasks are in auto schedule mode. Very good. Let's check the options. Schedule. That option is unticked. Very good. Advanced. We have both these options ticked. This is exactly how we want it. Before you create a delay analysis for any program, please do come back to the section and ensure that everything is in order. This is extremely important particularly because MS Project is not built to carry out complex delay analysis procedures. Therefore, you need to be extremely organized, disciplined, and check everything again and again. A simple logical error in the options section could completely ruin your delay analysis. Customization of MS Project for delay analysis. It is extremely useful to customize MS Project's ribbon bar with your own custom tab. I've created a new ribbon tab called reg and I've inserted some command icons which I regularly use and I'll show you how to do it. Go to customize ribbon and create a new tab and you can rename this tab to whatever you like. For the moment I'll just rename it to custom and now it is possible to import any command item you choose into this custom tab. Just showing you a few examples there. Our customized tab has popped up in the ribbon. I can also rename the new tab. Let's rename it to custom as well. Click OK. And you can see that your main ribbon bar has been modified with the new tab. You can also add new subgroups so that you can keep your command icons organized. I'll demonstrate with yet another example. There's your new group and you can add more command icons specifically to this group. The zoom command icon has been added to the ribbon you have it in your custom tab. If you wish to duplicate my reg tab within your MS project, please pause the video and come back once you've done it. I'm going to delete this new tab that I've just created because I've already got my customized tab. And now I'll show you how to create a customized table. Customized tables are extremely useful when you're doing different types of delay analysis. For instance, when you're doing an as-built but for or a collapsed as-built analysis, it's good to have your actual start, actual finish dates, whereas you don't need it when you're doing an impacted as-planned analysis. So you can rearrange your columns and insert new columns or delete columns, move them around, and then go to your tables and click Save as a new table. So you can now name your table and it will be permanently saved in MS Project. Now at any point in the future, you can always go back and reload this or any other saved table. And you can also change tables by P1, 
picking them from the existing list of tables which MS Project already has and the layout will change accordingly. And with that, we come to the end of this video tutorial.